guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. So we're here again messing with my new uh, Ingle Inferno, the Marty Friedman signature amp. So uh, my friends, my family are coming in for uh, Thanksgiving, so I may not have time to record any more of these videos for a bit. So I figured we'd go ahead and jump into it right now. Um, not too much structure for this video other than the fact that, hey, I'm going to try and stay away from using a boost for like the first half of the video. Then for the second half, I'm going to engage my Pandemonium V3 overdrive pedal up there, which has pretty much been my go-to pedal for quite a while now. Really enjoy it. It's very flexible. Um, you'll notice I'm playing an 8-string this time, and this is kind of to test. Um, I've been very impressed with this amp so far. Um, straight in. I'm not very much a straight in type of guy. I like to use a boost pedal. I still will probably prefer to use a boost pedal with this amp, but that said, the tones I'm getting out of it without a boost have been pretty daggone phenomenal. So I want to see how far I can stretch that. I tend to think that I kind of need an overdrive pedal to really get the tight and articulate uh, eight string riffs that I tend to go for. Let's see how that goes. Like I said, I'll leave my overdrive pedal off for now. I'll let you know when I do turn it on. Let's go ahead and get into it. extent of how far I'd take this channel on this amp without an overdrive pedal. Um, it can do classic rock, classic metal type of stuff, in my opinion. Let's jump over to channel 2. Actually, let's not jump over to channel 2. Change from the beginning. Let's go ahead and turn on my overdrive pedal and see we can, how far we can push this channel.
certainly not bad. So there you were seeing me get that very uh, crunchy, not super saturated sound out of this amp. So my overdrive is just adding just a little bit of push. It's not like meant to <laughs> add a whole heck of a lot to it. It's really just meant to give it just a little bit of a push. And it did that here and that worked out. But I would say without testing them side by side yet, I'll do that in another video, I probably prefer that type of tone out of what I can get out of my KSR Artemis or my uh, Chariots on Leviathan. Let's go ahead and mess with channel two and see what we can do with that. Like I said, I'm gonna turn my overdrive back off for now. So that is super, super impressive to me. Um, it's definitely more saturated than what I would normally get, but turning on that game boost feels a lot like turning on an overdrive and that I'm getting a bunch of clarity and yeah, saturation. It's like an overdrive like maxed out. It's like turning on a maxed out overdrive is what it sounds like to me. And I think it sounds really, really quite good. I could definitely make, I could definitely pull some tones that will work for the stuff that I do even on an eight string going straight into this amp. So if you're a straight into the amp type of person, highly recommend this amp. Let's go ahead and mess with it a bit more before I turn on my overdrive. Phenomenal, actually. I'm, I'm very much looking forward to comparing these amps and seeing how they stack up together. Um, in terms of just a super saturated sound, this amp is probably going to be kind of tough to beat. 
That's it, let's go ahead and turn on my overdrive pedal for the remainder of this video and mess with the channel too. freaking fun really freaking loud this is a freaking just crushing amp i'm liking it a whole heck of a lot and uh <laughs> I, I guess i'm an ingle fan at least in some way shape form or fashion now i'm definitely a fan of this amp marty and the guys over ingle did a great job with it and i'm glad that i own it but hey if you guys enjoyed this video you like heavy metal and you like guitar gear you like what i do you like these riffs and stuff please like the video subscribe to the channel and yeah you guys take care.